When I was 26, I got into venture capital. We started the firm in 72, and it started to thrive. The largest fund I had raised was 5 billion euros. In 1999, we had 52 IPOs in our portfolio across the world. And it was a very exciting ride, but I didn't want my epitaph to read. He delivered a 30% rate of return for 15 years. I left venture capital in 2005 on my 60th birthday, and I left because I wanted to do what I considered to be more important things. I was born in Egypt to a Jewish family after the Suez crisis. We left as refugees with a suitcase and 10 Egyptian pounds each. I had to go to an English school without speaking English. And my dad took me uh, to meet the headmaster of the school to persuade him that uh, he should take me as a student. And my dad said to the headmaster, look, it's not because he's my son, but if you accept him, he'll be top of the class. And I felt then that I really had a mission in life, which was not to let my dad down. One of the reasons I'd become a venture capitalist was because I wanted to help people improve their lives. But I realized that although I was backing entrepreneurs who came from simple backgrounds, it wasn't really dealing with the issue of poverty. Social issues continued to spread. And then we had the crash of 2008. Everything there completely wiped out. What started in America last year has now spread to every part of the world. We need a real plan to stabilize the housing market before you... I think after that crash, it became obvious to most people that the system was actually creating social problems. I realized that we needed to innovate in the way in which we enabled social organizations to grow in the way that businesses grow. And if you can redirect capital flows to improve people's lives, you begin to resolve problems that the government alone can't resolve and philanthropists can't do it alone either. And so it became a mission for me, a mission which led to our developing the social impact bond. Impact investment is about giving people a chance. People don't want charity, they want a chance. You can't just optimize risk and return. You have to bring in a social purpose, an environmental purpose. Achieving impact, that's the future. There's a revolution happening, and it's something that is broad-based and global and infused with a partnership spirit. And if you have a higher mission, then I think you inspire people to even greater effort than if the purpose is just to make money. I would like my legacy to be something that inspired and helped the impact revolution to take place. There is a line out of Tennyson's wonderful poem, Ulysses, that just encapsulates our responsibility in the impact revolution. To strive, to seek, to find and not to yield.